is the hottest thing going in the gaming industry. You know, you put on those big glasses and immerse you in an environment. Well, we're learning now that virtual reality can also be useful in helping patients who suffer from acute pain and the addiction to medications that can occur because of that pain. Please welcome back pain psychotherapist Dr. Mike Kleber, along with researcher Diane Uris, to tell us more about this. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As we talked about earlier, there, there are definitely legitimate reasons why people have been prescribed pain medications. And just the thought of having to get up those medi- give up those medications mm-hmm. makes a lot of people... It's anxious. terrifying yes. for most patients. Yes. And 100 million people suffer from some type of pain. Wow. That's the most common reason people go to a doctor today. Wow. For a pain condition. Yeah. All right. And so pain recovery in past years has been writing that prescription. Right. And we now there, know there are so many other ways to do it. There's a multifaceted approach that you all have. Multifaceted, multidisciplinary. So we have physical therapy. We have physicians help with the detox. We have cognitive therapists. We have stress management people. We have uh, biofeedback. We do a series of groups to deal with the addiction, the family. And our newest advent is the virtual reality a component to help people manage uh, and distract themselves and get them a new mindset about how to yeah. deal with the pain. Well, okay, so Diane, talk about the, the genesis of this and just when you say distract yourself, how this works. What are we seeing in this virtual reality world? Okay, so we use this with patients who are uh, in detox, means that they have very high levels of cravings, of pain and anxiety. As you say, they struggle with the idea of not having any medication. And if we had one patient saying, I want to be discharged this morning because I can't stand the cravings, I can't stand the anxiety I feel, he was shaking. So what we, what we, we do with this uh, virtual reality, I will call it in short VR, okay. is that we use these goggles uh, in a very soothing environment. The, pa- the patient is immersed uh, in a dark environment with, uh, where he sits in a da- these dark goggles and he's, the patient sees a very nice and beautiful river. Patients float through the river, so it's kind of a distraction technique right. to which we added a binaural audio recording. It's kind of a new technology that we developed with, um, we made it with HTC in Houston, and it's, you feel like if the, as if the therapist was in the room with you. So we have this. It's very interesting because we, we take from what we know in real life, we say people go, God, I need a vacation. And they go off to places like this, and right. they feel relaxed. Right. Exactly. So we have, before the session, before the VR session, we have this patient really anxious. Some of them are shaking. They report a level of anxiety maximal. On a scale from 0 to 10, they say, my anxiety is 10, my cravings are 10. And we do this intervention, which, which lasts about 20 minutes, and their anxiety can drop up to 0. And their wow. pain drops also. So yeah, yeah. Interesting, that makes me ask the question, how much anxiety and stress adds to some of those situations? They escalate and amplify it tremendously. The depression, patients come in already addicted. They have to come off the addiction medicine and they're terrified. They're depressed because their life has been destroyed because they haven't even probably been in work, financial, family changes. So they're anxious about having pain. They don't move. Their body becomes very... You know, they, they atrophy their muscles because yeah. they, they, they don't want to move because it hurts. They can't sleep. And so finding ways to get some self-control over the pain is the key. Yeah. This, I, I did this with Diane a couple of weeks ago. I came through the video, <laughs> the video that you just saw briefly. I started sweating because I was in this jungle in this tropical river <laughs> because it becomes so real. Yeah. You really disappear. Wow. Okay. And, of course, the other thing, because I think when you, we're dealing with addiction, it, it involves... Every aspect of a being. It is emotional. It is psychological. It is physical. It takes all over things. your existence. It becomes your primary relationship. I need medicine to feel okay. It worked the very first time they took it. Wow. But as you continue to take it, you develop a tolerance. Then you want more. Then you want different. Then you go illegal. And it just, it just, it becomes the, the only method they have. So we try to teach them. We don't try. We teach very specific self-management techniques, this being one of of many. And then, of course, the aftercare part, because we know that what drugs do to the brain permanently, dopamine, all those types of things, that you have to actually uh, treat that part of the brain as well that's been kind of depleted. Well, exactly. And once once you stop taking the hydrocodone, the oxycodone, 
the methadone, the heroin, whatever you've been taking, the, bo the body, once detox, starts to generate its own. Yeah. So with exercise, physical therapy, conditioning, you start to develop dopamine and your natural painkillers reemerge. The body, yeah, the body is an amazing thing. It, it is. very forgiving. Right. You just have to give it that chance, and that's what this program is about. Right. Thank you very, very much. Um, you can find out more about breakthrough treatment at Memorial Herman's Pain Recovery Program. In fact, Memorial Herman has that pain recovery program. It is a stellar program known across the country, but you can go to parc.memorialherman.org, uh, parc.memorialherman.org. Herman.org. If you know somebody who is struggling with pain, it doesn't have to be, they don't have to be an addict, but if they're struggling with pain every day, this is a great way to, to kind of de-escalate that pain. And then, of course, somebody who is an addict to get them off those medications. Thank you. Well, from your routine checkup to a total mouth makeover, it's never too late to have something to smile about. Before Robert met our next doctor, his teeth looked like this. <laughs>